Fighters from the so-called Islamic State parade through a recently occupied northern Iraqi town. Their strength is such that now the US is launching airstrikes against them. For months, the influence of IS has spread across the country as the National Army wilted before them. In doing so, it mirrored the wilting government of the Prime Minister Nouri al-Maliki. For eight years, he has governed Iraq in a manner that has become increasingly sectarian. Now the Constituent Assembly has been unable to agree on a new Prime Minister. And yet, in April's election, Maliki's party won more seats than any other, and he won more votes personally than any other candidate. But crucially, he fell short of a majority. In the months since, the combination of the rise of the Islamic State group, Kurdish opposition and weakening support from Iran has eroded Maliki's support base. In Iraq itself, the Shia group led by Muqtadr al-Sadr has said it will support any candidate from Maliki's Dawa party except Maliki himself. While the influential Shia cleric Grand Ayatollah Ali Sistani has indicated he thinks Maliki should not cling on to power. But if many people are united against Maliki, it's less clear who could succeed him. It is not a given. This depends on the person, it depends on the situation. But the main uh, delta in terms of how that would come out, those possibilities, is strong American support, including military support, in return for an Iraqi political class that pulls together in one direction. Some believe Maliki's predecessor, Ibrahim Jafari, could return, but he is tainted to some people by his failure to deal with rising sectarian violence 10 years ago. Others point to Ahmed Chalabi. Once a favorite of the Bush White House, he is close to Iran and has become prominent again in government circles in recent years. One thing is clear, whoever does emerge as prime minister will face a series of challenges. First, to defeat the Islamic State, and then to try to patch up a country that has begun to divide on tribal and sectarian lines. Dominic Kane, Al Jazeera.